I'm going to tell you this quote that John Maxwell said. It's totally a Wren paraphrase quote, but he said something to the extent of you need to be able to say no to good in order to say yes to great. And that's a leadership skill that we have to have in our business and as podcasters. And so you have to look at things and say, okay, that is a good thing, but I need to say no to it so I can say something, I can say yes to something great. There's three things that I do to make sure I'm reflecting on it before I act on it, okay? That I say no to good and yes to great. Uh, I set aside time to pray about it and ask the Lord, uh, what are my mission, my vision, my values? What is the calling God's given me? And if it's yes toward that, then I say yes. If it's not, I say no. Another thing is that you have to be unwavering and commit to what your calling is. And you have to put a stake in the ground and say, nope, this is my calling. That is great. That is really great. It's really good. But my calling is where I need to go. Okay. And then the third thing is that you need to go with your gut. You need to um, ask the Holy Spirit to speak to you and you will, he will guide you and you will know exactly what to do. Okay. So those are my three things that I do when I'm reflecting on something before I make a decision. Okay. But what I want to say this, this is really the point of the whole thing is that um, you've got to get that nailed down first. Um, before you say, okay, who do I want to have on my podcast? If you're going to have an interview podcast once in a while, you have to nail that down first. Here are the three questions that I want you to ask to know what type of podcast guest to have on your show. Earlier in the podcast episode, this was talking about how to nail down your calling and how to know what it is and sticking to it. This is how to know which podcast guests are suited for your show. So number one, will their message benefit your listeners? Will their message benefit? Remember, you are for your listener, okay? You're speaking directly into your idle listener. And perhaps your ideal client eventually. But will the message of that podcast guest that comes on your show, will it benefit your listeners? And you have to know who you're speaking to. You have to know who your ideal listener is. So if you can see if that podcast guest needs to come on your show or not. Okay, that's number one. Number two, does that podcast guest fit into the mission of your business so that you can take them along the way? So they need to have um, a part. They need to fit in a part of your mission of your business. Now, I'm not saying it doesn't have to does not have to be exact. I'm not saying it has to be exactly the same thing you do and exactly the same mission, but it needs to relate. It needs to correlate, okay? It just needs to be aligned together. All right, and number three is, does it make sense for you? Do you have the time to interview that guest? Can your schedules mesh? Does it benefit you in, 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 in a way? I mean, you really have to look at that and say, yes, you know it's gonna benefit them because podcast guesting, is num number one way to for people to come to your podcast, but is it going to benefit you as the time you're putting into it? Is there a collaboration that y'all can do at a later time? Are you going to be on their podcast? You know, like you have to say, how does this benefit my business? You have to say that. And so this is, I know it's a kind of a, a unique episode today, but I really was looking at leadership skills and how the leadership skill of us stopping and reflecting on what our calling is in order so that we can say our best yes to opportunities that come to us. Opportunities through a podcast guest, opportunities for um, something in your business, opportunities for you to work with someone. Um, all right, remember guys, I am here to help because life's too short to just wing it. See you next time.